Hi and welcome back to the Sycamore Basketball Television Show. My name is Ace Hunt. I'm the Director of Media Relations here at Indiana State University. I'm here with the head coach of the women's team, Joey Wells. And Coach Wells, it's been a while since we uh, talked to each other. Uh, let's talk about the win at St. John's That's first. Uh, <laughs> uh, big time win on the road against a nationally ranked team. That had to feel really good. It did. It felt great. You know, it was a great way to go into uh, Christmas break. Uh, the players did a great job. You know, we played back-to-back -back games. Um, we did some sightseeing. We, we had a lot of distractions when we were down in New York, but they handled it great. Uh, and then they came in and played a great team. You know, they were ranked 25th at the time. Um, hadn't lost at home in a while, and so it was really good for us to get um, started our break that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I think we're kind of still on break a little bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and that game was was fun, you know, for the fans to watch it because it was a, uh, you know, overtime contest, really yes. exciting. Uh, probably had the chance to put it away in regulation, but you know, if uh, in you know if the people that didn't put it away, hadn't played so well earlier, you wouldn't even have been in that Right, spot. no, definitely, you know, and it was, it was, you know, Rachel had an opportunity, we had a little, uh, it was about four seconds left, ran a side OB to get her the ball, we got it to her on the block, they called the foul, she made the shot, but they waved it off, said it was on the floor, uh, so it's a tie ball game, she goes to the free throw line, ends up missing them, uh, you know, but like I said, she played so well earlier that we would have never been in that position yeah. to win it in regulation, and then she came back strong too in the overtime. Uh, so again, sometimes that happens. You know, I'm just proud of the way we didn't give up. You know, especially battling on the road. Once you go into overtime, you start thinking, uh oh, okay, we yeah. don't we don't have enough tank. You know, gas left yeah. in the tank. But we did. We fought all the way through from our starters to our bench, and uh, came away with the victory. Uh, so you you get the win. You come back home the next day. Everybody goes their separate ways yes. for a few days. Talk about how you handled the Christmas break, because. Uh, not only have you not been at home in a while, you had quite a layoff before you went on your first Valley Road. Yeah, suite. we did. We took um, we took six days off, so everybody deported. Some flew from New York to their hometown, some came back here and then left. Uh, but it was six days off, uh, and then we had five days of practice as well. So we thought we handled everything great, but it was 11 days total between games. And I think we just kind of struggled when we got back to get that intensity back. Uh, and, and the reason we were so good in the non-conference is we played hard and we were connected on both ends of the floor and, and so we're trying to get that back. Right, and so you um, uh, you get past the break five days of practice I was out there for a couple of those days and you guys were getting after it pretty hard um, and then you got a tough road trip you know right. just travel wise yes. to Wichita and Missouri State uh, just talk about that opening weekend and um, you know, I call it the Bermuda Triangle. It, right. It's a toughie, <laughs> especially that trip in between the two places. Right. So just talk about how tough a road swing that was for yeah. you. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, you know, we flew from here into Kansas City, and then it's a three plus hour trip from Kansas City to Wichita. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did that on Thursday, and then um, just kind of tried to get them going on Friday uh, to prepare for the game Friday night. Uh, and I thought we played decent. We did a lot of good things. We didn't do enough good things to beat Wichita. Uh, and again, when you go on the road to Missouri Valley, uh, you better be 10 points battle, you oh, know, yeah. that night. Yep. And that's just because you're on the road, the atmosphere, all those things. Uh, so I don't think we did enough to beat them, but we competed and I was okay with that being our first game back from the break. But I don't think we recovered because then, um, you know, Saturday you have that I can't remember. It was a three-hour drive from Wichita State yeah. to Missouri State. And it seems like seven. <laughs> yeah, it just seems long, especially after a loss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then we get there, and then we do a shoot around, and the next morning, and I just think there was still some layover. Um, we, you know, we only lost one game in the non-conference, and we bounced right back. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and won, you know, and played hard, did a lot of good things. And I, I, I think there was still some layover from Wichita State and our break uh, when we went sure. to Missouri State. And then Missouri State played well. I don't want to take yeah. anything away from them. They made shots, they played hard, um, they did what they needed to do to win. And 
now you got a uh, uh, you're back at home finally for yes. the first time in over a month, Gosh. and you're playing the Bradley uh, Braves on Friday. Uh, yes. Just talk about having a couple games at home and be nice to kind of rally the troops, oh, yeah. get everybody it's, back together. It's going to be so. great, you know. And and it's just not that we were on the road for such a long span. I mean, we were we covered some states, you know. Oh, yeah. when, when you look back at it, and uh, you know, from New York to when our players went home, we had players going to Denmark. We had players going to uh, Colorado, to oh, Texas, wow. uh, to Kansas. So, I mean, our players just didn't drive. They flew. So then they came back, then we traveled again. And so th there's some built-in excuses, but that's what they wore for the weekend. But we'll pass those, and we'll, we're excited to be home to play Bradley on Friday, and then we have uh, Loyola on Saturday, I mean Sunday. Uh, and those will both be a good contest for us to get back with uh, playing competitive, playing together, and uh, get back on the winning rate. And uh, also want to mention Friday night, I know I'm excited about it, father-daughter date night. That's going to yes. be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fathers bringing uh, young ladies, youth, uh, to the game. Maybe one day they'll play for you. Here, That's right? right. That's what we hope for. Uh, so, yeah, please get your daughter, bring them on out, and enjoy the uh, game on Friday night. Well, Coach, good luck against Bradley and Loyola. Back in my day, it used to be Bradley and Northern Iowa on the same Yeah, weekend. they've it's changed it. changed now, Bradley. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you uh, said that. I had to look down there. Uh, it's uh, Indiana State against Bradley on Friday, Loyola on Sunday at the Holman Center. We hope to see you all uh, inside Holman Center for some exciting Missouri Valley basketball action. Uh, you're watching the Indiana State Basketball Show.